हेलो एवरी वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दिस रेज वर्सेस वायर कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड इट इज़ अवेलेबल इन द वेरी लॉक प्ले लिस्ट एंड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट वन इन डिटेल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन अगेन द रेज एंड वायर कॉन्सेप्ट विद डिफरेंट अप्रोच ओके But if you want to learn more, then please watch Rage vs. Wire Verilog videos available in Verilog playlist. Okay. So if we write this code, Rage A B C and this one. Okay. A equal to one because this here this is non-blocking statement. Okay. So what will happen in non-blocking statement? This one first. This one will be. evaluated so a will get one a will get one first then b will get the old value of a a will be evaluated means what is the value of a the value of a is not one okay here the value of a is the previous value whatever value it was okay previous value it can be zero or it can be one but it is not one okay and the previous value of b here okay so old value of b this is previous or old value of b it can be 0 or 1 okay so here a equal to 1 then b b will get let's say if a equal to 0 and b equal to let's say 1 then here after this always block execution what will be the result a equal to 1 then b equal to not 1 b will get the old value of a old value of a is 0 okay and c will get old value of b old value of b Not zero. Okay. Old. What is the old value of b? Old value of b is one. So c will get one. Okay. This one is clear. Next one. So what is happening here? It is getting the old value right here. B is getting the old value. C is getting the old value. Getting the old value means that means the old value is stored somewhere. else how we are going to get this old values right so here the always block if we are if we use this non blocking statement then this always block keep intermediate or previous value okay this one you have to remember else we are not going to get this old value if it is not stored somewhere and if it is not hold somewhere else that means if you do not store this previous value or intermediate value then definitely this always block we are not that means we are not going to get this previous value this old value okay so among rage and wire rage seems suitable because the data has to be stored and data has to be stored means definitely it is a register register stores this value right and if register so stores the value and we know that this rage mostly it is what is this one it corresponds to memory or register so here among rage and wire if you will be given a choice which one you want to choose for all these variables a b and c you want to choose rage or you want to choose wire definitely it is a rage a rage seems more suitable to store data because it is storing the data it is storing the previous data so rage seems more suitable and not wire okay so this is the difference between rage and wire okay see here so rage is like a register or memory which stores the data okay and what is a wire wire is a electrical path right like normal wire the conducting the conducting wires or conducting electrical path so wire is like a electrical path to connect or drive For example, see here two blocks are there. You want to connect these two blocks, then you put a wire here. Okay, so this is an electrical path. Okay, so this is a wire. It is an electrical path to connect or drive. What is the meaning of drive? Driving means transferring the data or receiving the data. You are sending the data or you are tra you are send transmitting the data or you are receiving the data. So drive things. So wire can be a network. Wire can be a network. to drive values to drive values or response to value driven on it that means wire is not going to store any data wire simply 
drives the data or simply responds or it responds to value responds to value that is driven here that is driven here in this case it is connecting two circuit because it is a electrical path okay in this case what is happening this is one module this is another module and if you want to connect these two module it is a wire for connecting these two module this one is this one is responding this one is responding that means responding on this line or on this path it is responding or driving the signal here or driving the data what it is doing here here this side it is responding it is responding to this one this one is responding to this one and this one is responding to this one responding or driving so this cannot store like electrical so this cannot store okay like electrical wire cannot store see electrical wire this wire cannot store current or voltage right we know very well but battery can store right so wire is just like an electrical path to connect or drive something okay this is what the exact meaning of wire and rage is already i explained rage is for storing purpose rage or wires tell how data will be assigned this is more important this is one of the most important line okay rage or wire tells how data will be assigned it simply tells whether a signal is assigned in a procedural assignment or by a continuous assignment the only difference between rage and air sorry wire is the assigning how you are assigning how you are going to assign the data if data that means what we have see data data are assigned either in a procedural block that is always or initial or continuous assignment using this construct assign okay rage or wire signal has nothing to do with whether it's implemented as output of a combinational circuit or a register this one again you have to remember rage we cannot uh, we cannot simply say rage or wire these are simply what you call this output of a so the wire is the output of a combinational circuit or the rage is the output of a register circuit no we cannot directly say like that okay i i will show you okay why this statement is a valid one synthesis tool decides whether a variable refers to combinational logic that means if you write a wire a you cannot you cannot say simply that this corresponds to a combinational circuit and if you write rage b then you cannot say this is simply means this is a memory register whether it is a memory that there is hardware this is sequential hardware or whether it is a combinational hardware it is decided by synthesis tool synthesis tool decides whether variable refers to a combinational logic or a flip flop or a latch based on how the variable has been used whether the variable has been used inside a procedural block or using the assignment construct this one has to be decided by the synthesis tool okay so simply wire is not a co wire co doesn't correspond to this combinational logic or rage doesn't mean it is a sequential logic okay it has to be decided by the synthesis tool so what we have to remember the verilog rule is this two rule we have to remember always okay verilog used sorry variable used inside a procedural block means always and initial the variable that we use inside a procedural block must be able to store value must be able to store value so use variable rage so variable rage so rage use rage variable inside a procedural block to store the value wire because wire cannot store value wire because wire cannot store value both rage and wire signal can be the output of combinational circuit rage can be a combinational circuit wire signal can be the output of a combinational circuit or rage or wire can be the output of a flip flop rage and wire can be the output of a latch edge both the signal can result same physical implementation both rage rage or wire can generate a combinational circuit or a flip flop so it is always better to use verilog rules and what is the verilog rules 
रेज इज फॉर प्रोसीजरल असाइनमेंट एंड ओ आर इज फॉर कंटिन्यूस असाइनमेंट दिस वन दिस इज द रूल वी हैव टू रिमेंबर रेज इज ऑलवेज यूज फॉर ए प्रोसीजरल असाइनमेंट एंड ओ आर वेरिएबल इज यूज फॉर ए कंटिन्यूस असाइनमेंट एल्स इफ यू डोंट यूज दिस रूल देन वाट विल हैपन बिकॉज रेज कैन जनरेट कॉम्बिनेशनल और सिक्वेंसियल ओ आर ऑल्सो कैन जनरेट कॉम्बिनेशनल और सिक्वेंसियल सो वी मे एंड ऑफ जनरेटिंग ए फॉल्स हार्डवेयर ओके असाइन स्टेटमेंट्स द सेकेंड द असाइन स्टेटमेंट वेन एवर वी इंक्लूड असाइन स्टेटमेंट्स इन वेरी लॉक कोड इट इज ऑलवेज यूज फॉर ओ आर एंड इट क्रिएट्स ए पोर्ट और कनेक्शन असाइन मीन्स असाइन स्टेटमेंट क्रिएट्स ए पोर्ट और कनेक्शन एंड ऑलवेज यूज फॉर ओ आर सी इफ वी राइट ओ आर एक्स हेयर इट क्रिएट ए पोर्ट दैट मीन्स सपोज हेयर इफ वी राइट ओ आर एक्स दिस इज ए पोर्ट एंड इट्स नेम इज एक्स इफ वी राइट ओ आर टू इज टू एक्स देन इट क्रिएट थ्री पोर्ट्स और यू कैन सेट पोर्ट्स मीन्स इज टर्मिनल्स सो एक्स टू एक्स वन एंड एक्स जीरो दैट मीन्स लाइक दिस ओके एक्स टू एक्स वन एंड एक्स जीरो दिस इज एक्स टू दिस इज एक्स वन एंड दिस इज एक्स जीरो ओके सो डेफिनेटली इट इज नॉट अ रजिस्टर राइट इट इज सिंपली ए ओ आर इट इज सिंपली ए कनेक्शन ओ आर इज ए सिंपली ए कनेक्शन रेज स्टेटमेंट डजेंट ऑलवेज क्रिएट ए रजिस्टर दिस इज अगेन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन रेज स्टेटमेंट डजेंट ऑलवेज क्रिएट ए रजिस्टर ऑलवेज रेज टू इज टू जीरो एक्स इट कैन क्रिएट कैन क्रिएट ओके इट कैन क्रिएट रजिस्टर विथ थ्री फ्लिप फ्लॉप बट नॉट ऑलवेज इट कैन क्रिएट बट नॉट ऑलवेज ओके थ्री फ्लिप फ्लॉप सिंथेसिस टूल रेकॉग्नाइज ए स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्ट सिंथेसिस टूल जन डिसाइड्स वेदर द हार्डवेयर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी जनरेटेड फॉर द कोड दैट वी हैव रिटर्न इज कॉम्बिनेशनल और सिक्वेंसियल डिपेंडिंग ऑन वाट इट इनफोर्स दैट मीन्स इट रेकॉग्नाइजेस फ्यू कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट्स एंड इफ दैट कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट्स वी हैव रिटर्न इन साइड आवर वेरी लॉक कोड देन इट जनरेट्स सिक्वेंसियल लॉजिक और कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक फॉर सिक्वेंसियल लॉजिक वी मस्ट हैव दिस पॉस एज ऑफ क्लॉक और रिसेट और दिस वन फॉर सिक्वेंसियल लॉजिक ओके सिंथेसिस टूल मस्ट यूज ऑलवेज क्लॉक सिंथेसिस टूल मस्ट यूज ऑलवेज एट द रेट क्लॉक or this and this non blocking assignment else it is not going to generate sequential logic in hardware okay if you don't include this if you simply include this non blocking assignment and if you don't use pos edge of clock then it is not going to generate the synthesis tool is not going to generate any sequential hardware okay this two must be there okay see this one here there is no clock there is no clock it is not going to generate a sequential logic it is simply what is it is a it is a combinational logic even even rage here rage is abc rage our variables are rage but it is not going to generate a flip flop or sequential logic because as per the rule it should have clock signal always should have clock signal and non blocking assignment here there is no clock signal there is no non blocking assignments so it is simply a combinational logic and that is a buffer but if you write like this see here we have a we have a rage we have non blocking assignment here but here we do not have clock again it doesn't generate a proper hardware means it doesn't generate a flip flop it generates a latch latch and flip flops are different there is no clock so it generates a latch but not a flip flop okay this is the hardware that it generates from this uh, this piece of code so it depends on the synthesis tool and its rules for oir rage so the rules you have to remember use non blocking assignment and pos edge of clock for sequential logic and this one this blocking assignment blocking assignment see again blocking assignment can generate sequential logic and can generate combinational logic also that i have explained in many videos okay we know that this uh, oir is used for a connection okay oir is it is a electrical path used for a connection if the wire is not connected if the wire is not connected then what will happen not connected means it will it will offer infinite resistance right it will offer infinite resistance this is not connected so impedance is zero sorry uh, sorry impedance its impedance is infinite 
so its default value default value of wire because it is an electrical wire its default value is high impedance because it is not connected default value means we don't know whether it is a connect, connect connected or not there it is left open means it is open its default one means it is not connected or we don't know whether it is connected or not so it is left its default is left open or open open circuit or open path so it offers imp infinite impedance so default value of wire is high impedance always remember this is a, this is common sense okay and rage see rage is used for storage so it can you it can store either one or either zero so what what is the, then what is the default value of this one default value means it has not been assigned either one or either zero default means here in case of wire default means it is not connected so that's why the it gives high impedance default here default means rage is a storage it can store either one or zero and it has not been assigned any value one or zero that means we don't know we don't know the value assigned to this one that means it is a unknown value so this is the reason default value of rage is unknown and this is the concept behind the default value of rage and wire okay so this is all about this rage and wire concepts though i have already explained rage and wire in one of my videos in details but this is these are few concepts that i thought that i should upload so thank you so much for watching